man, all the way to the stinking lake, man. Hey! Hey, bear! Oh, he's got my cream cheese. <gasps> no way! That was awesome. Jay says those mountains are halfway. I'd say a third, actually. Jay says a third. Yeah. Here we go. Have we seen some goats, eh? Yeah, man, there's like three up there that we can for sure see. This is going to get really shaky, but I'm going to zoom in. <laughs> Can't do her. There's another one up there. Um, and we'd seen another one in the trees a bit lower down in here, but it disappeared. we got to get to the cabin yet. What time is it, Jay? No idea. Probably like four o'clock, eh? Unless on our way over we see one down there. Why do they hang out on bald rock faces? Because they can. Because they can. Anytime they leave the cliff, there's like wolves and bears just like waiting. These things are like a bizarre, majestic animal though. Let's just acknowledge right now, my, my very good friend, Jay. Your friend. He's a very good friend. This man will put He's you all to shame. Too. He is the real goat in this situation. This was early on. Yeah. Arguably, I'm older and wiser now. You're older. But like, you're gonna see just like a kind of a raw experience here. And you might not like all of it. Oh. Even no. you might not like all of it. <laughs> and I'm sorry. Editing this, I saw something very disturbing. I'm like, was I pregnant? Well, you have had five children, and it seems only fair that Rose shouldn't have to carry them all. I was like, what is going on? Anyways, I think there's like a wardrobe situation. I think there's binoculars under there. I'm definitely fat, but like I'm not, I'm not pregnant. Not pregnant fat. Not anymore. No. Stealth pants 
time. Second shot. Yeah, I think it went high. It was high. I saw it hit rocks there. But I think you got. Uh, I think you got long. First one looked really good. Yeah, I think you got lungs on that first one. But it didn't go down fast. It just. It didn't run off though. That's good because look where we are. Yeah, like. I know. If it falls, then um, I think we're gonna fall. I think we'll be good. Unbelievable, man. <sighs> Knew it. You got a lung shot, man. Good no for you, way. Jeff. Your first go. <laughs> man. Yeah, look at that fall, man. Look where he I came can't from. believe it. Man, that just made things so much easier. Yeah. That was awesome, man. Okay, well, let's throw her in. Okay. Here's our goat. 
is in the boat. I can't believe it, man. And then man bounced like all the way to the lake. And we didn't see her at all, but she landed right over there. I knew it, man. Once I heard her going, it's like there's nothing stopping her, man. No, I know. Well, I better put this camera away before it starts swimming. It's getting wet. We just talked to you a few minutes ago. And then we ran out of gas. And now we can't remember which jerry can has mixed in it. Jay says, just pull up on the beach. So I pulled up on this here beach. See, that's the end of the beach. I think it's this one. Jug number one. Okay. So. I guess we got another half an hour to go down there. Once we get going. It's kind of looking darkish. Nice work, man. That was pretty cool. They do look like an antelope though, don't they? Yeah. There's the cabin. I'm looking at the sky, but you can't see a thing. Unbelievable. We're cruising in. Like, there's no moonlight even. Like, it's all socked in. You okay, can see that. Yeah. And I don't know if this was before headlamps. Seems like it. But it doesn't matter. Like, when you're on a huge lake like that, like, the headlamp just shows you how dark it is in yeah. ten, 10 feet in front of you. You can see the light, <laughs> the light coming at us. Then the light went out. The light goes out. And then it comes back on, and we're like, wait, something walked in front of the light. Ah, uh, right. Some large mass. A planet or something. What kind of animal was that? That would block out the entire cabin. Walk down the beach now. No, he's on the log. He's going in the boat. He's going right in your boat. Yeah. He looked back at one that you guys said walked by, uh... Yeah. Where's that guy? Oh, yeah, he's a good size. Eh? Yeah, pretty good size bear, but not... Not, not huge, but... I wouldn't want to tangle him. Mm -mm, me neither. And he'll open fast, too. <laughs> what you doing, buddy? Where you going? Hey, you eating my apples? He's eating. What is he eating? Yeah, we can't. We shouldn't let him eat my boat. Eat the boat. What is? What is he eating? He's opened up a thing of cream cheese. Oh, he's got my cream cheese. Cream cheese? Yeah. yeah. He's in the cream cheese. You ain't gonna leave that for nothing. Hey! Hey, bear! How are we gonna keep him out of that boat, Jay? Definitely a young grizz, you can tell. Like, yeah. Sometimes that front pad will be... Well, it's well the full spread of my hand... Yeah, that's right. Man. He just didn't care, eh? No. Doesn't look like he... Licked did he do up too the... much else in here? Other than the paddle there. See it? Yeah, he broke the paddle somehow. Here's Jack's cabin. Thank you, Jack. We put the goat out on the barge last night, in the black of night. 
That was fun. Just trying even to find the boat or the barge out there in the dark, man. Yeah. It was socked in and pitch black. There it is, man. Right on. End up with two nice little sacks of meat there. Fish for supper? If not, I'll let him go. Sure not. Sure, why not? Whether it's on the beach or at your house, can't really let that nice kind of fish go. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, he's nice, eh? Give me a second. Yeah. That's beautiful fish. Yeah. It's easy now. Yeah, he's hooked pretty nice. Yeah, lunch, man. Hey, hey! Yeah, right on, Jeff. Nice. You see this? This is the most luxurious, like this is what kings would would wear. Yeah. This is the natural product of the animal. Do you know what I mean? Like the yeah. meat is, the meat was delicious. Okay, but you don't consider that the- You had the- I had the- You had the meat. But you know, the meat's gone, long gone. It's... But this hide will probably last for- It'll like, last you, maybe. It'll last a long time. I think there's a thing, when you're a hunter, and you have like this <clears throat> intimate appreciation for the animal. Like you've been closer than yeah. other people to it while it's alive and you're closer to it when it's dead and you can see like how amazing it is. And now I can, like I'm capable of a more like approach. passionate okay. conservation approach. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. This, like it just has everything. It's got goats. Grizzly bears, like rainbow trout. What else do you want? You can go into the wilderness, have an adventure, harvest an animal, delicious, healthy food for your family. You can keep a hide <clears throat> for the rest of your life. This is precious stuff. Yeah. We need to take care of it. It's no joke. It's, um, no. This is my <laughs> serious face. <laughs> <laughs>